said that in the last year I have really struggled with my identity as a New Zealand writer. I've never really thought of myself as a New Zealand writer and coming and being an ambassador for my country when I feel that actually my country is not doing as much as it could, especially for well, for the intellectual world in general, but for, for the literary arts, you know, um, or for the arts in general. Uh, I think it's, it's just a kind of a slightly complicated um, position to be in. I, I suppose from reading a lot of books from male points of view and from um, uh, Plenty of that. <laughs> close relationships with men around me. I, I think that um, I don't. I don't feel like I think like a man, but I think that I. It's not. It's not completely foreign to me. Um, you know, I think that I have masculine elements in, in my personality. Again, it comes back to the Jungian idea that we all do have a kind of an equilibrium in, in ourselves. You know, we have a balance of, of male and female that. Um, uh, you know, that just kind of varies in degree. A white writer writing a non-white perspective is much more, a much more fraught question um, than a, a people writing across gender. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, that, that would, that, that, yes. that seems just to be much more tricky territory and um, much more to do with the intentions of the, of, of the person doing it. Like I think that it's always to do with intentions, it's always to do with what, why it is that you are going outside yourself, you know, and I think that your, what, your intentions matter just so much, because if, you're, if your intention is to uh, learn more, to be curious, to, to kind of enlarge and, and expand your sense of the world, then that's a wonderful thing. But if your intention is to kind of pillage somebody else's point of view in order to kind of claim some kind of status from that, I think that that's very bad and very immoral actually. Um, so I don't think, I would never, uh, I would never write in a, for example, a, a, a first person narration from, a point of, from the point of view of somebody who had been through an experience that I had not been through. One thing that can happen to writers after they've, they've been um, uh, affirmed or their work has been acknowledged in a kind of a big way is that I think that they can become very um, uh, easy on themselves and um, so indulgent, you know, and I'm so worried about that. I, I never want that to happen.